So multiplying matrices. Multiplying matrices only if the number of columns in A equals the number of rows in B. So here's what I mean. If we have a 2 by 3 and a 3 by 4, I'm going to multiply matrix A and B. So remember that this is rows and columns and rows and columns. That's how we say the dimensions. And so the columns in A, this, and the column and the rows in B. So those two have to match. Must match. And then these give you the result. Two by four is the re the result of multiplying a two by three and a three by four. So sometimes you won't be able to multiply them. To multiply matrices, you're going to end up, it's not just A times Z e and B times F, C times G. It's not just multiplying corresponding parts because they don't have to have identical stuff. And so what we're going to do instead is notice we have a row times a column. And that's how you're going to multiply. So notice A times E and B times G. And then you're going to add those two parts together. I find this very confusing because it's got a lot of letters. And so we're actually going to go on and actually do it with numbers. We're going to multiply A times B. Again, double check that you can. This is a 2 by 2. This is a 2 by 2. The middle ones match. And so getting out we're going to get a result of a 2 by 2. So I'm going to make a big one, just so we can have room to, to write everything we need to. Think of this first one as row 1, column 1. So I'm going to multiply the first row times the first column. And just like we do rows by columns, in our dimensions, that's why I'm doing it here. So 2 times 1. Multiply the 2 times the 1, the first element and the first element, and then the negative 3 times the 3. And what I do is I just add them together. So that's 2 and negative 9, and then I add them together and I get negative 7. Fair enough. Now second one, this is row 1, column 2 up here. So I'm going to take the first row and I'm going to multiply it by the second column. So the first element times the first element, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And negative 3, and actually let's take our time here, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. So if you add those two together, you get negative 2. And moving on, we have row 2, column 1. That's this bottom left space. And so I'm going to multiply my second row times my first column. So 1 times 1 is 1. Add to it 5 times 3, which is 15. So we get 16. Notice what we're doing is the 1 times the 1, the first element of both of those parts. First element of row 1, first element of column 1. And then the second parts. So row 2, column 2, 1 times negative 4. And... 5 times negative 2, so you get a negative 4, and a negative 10, and you get negative 14. Now what I want to show you is, on the calculator, how you would do it. Um, on the calculator, there's a matrix button right here. Now, it's not actually a matrix button, you have to hit the second button first. 
all of these are the names. And so if you hit enter, you can get matrix A to show up. But we don't have what we want in matrix A yet. So go back there. Um, this has different math things you can do. Determinant um, and the dimensions are diminished. I forget what that one is. Actually, edit. We want to edit the matrix. We have a 2 by 2. So you want to make sure you put the right dimensions in there. 2, negative 3, 1, and 5. If you just keep hitting enter, it'll go to the next spot. And so that's my matrix A. Quit out of that. You can go back into matrix and matrix B. And we got another 2 by 2. 1, negative 4, 3, negative 2. Entering matrix B. And so now, like I said, you use your matrix. Matrix A. And you can use the multiplication button, but if you just write them next to each other, same thing as multiplication. Matrix A times matrix B. There you have it. Negative 7, negative 2, 16, and negative 14. Phew. So what we're going to do now is I just want to show you, um, and we'll do it on the calculator, matrix B times matrix A is not the same thing. Negative 2, negative 23, 4, negative 19. So what we take out of this, this not equal. A times B not equal to B times A. Sometimes it might be, depending on what you're doing, but in this case, no. And I just bring it up because usually 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. We call it commutative, um, but matrix multiplication is not commutative. So, finally, let's do C times A minus B. And so, again, do the stuff in parentheses first. So, C is going to be 4, negative 1, 3, 0, 5, 2. And then I'm going to multiply that by A minus B. And I'm going to actually subtract that before we get in here. So A minus B, we have A and B up here. So 2 minus 1, negative 3 minus a negative 4. So that's really adding 4. 1 minus 3 is a negative 2. And 5 minus a negative 2 is really 7. And if you wanted to, we had matrix A and B in here. Matrix A minus matrix B. You can do that as well. 1, 1, negative 2, 7. So this is a three rows by two columns, and this is two by two. And so as long as these match, you're good to go. And we're going to get out a three by two. So Row 1, column 1. 4 times 1, 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 times 1, negative 1 times 7 is negative 3. 3 times 1. 0 times negative 2. 3 times 1, 0 times 7. 5 times 1, 2 times negative 2. 5 times 1, and 2 times 7. And there you have it, our solution. And you can always do, um, and you can check that on the calculator if you want. Congrats, and happy matrix multiplication to you.